Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it uh big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing and just watching we're very very grateful thank you for sticking around i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this video they suggested that i react to why are most muslims fundamentalists and terrorists uh dr zaki Nayik, make sure to follow us on social media instagram funny and jesse um facebook funny and jesse and enjoy the content that we put out there so without wasting time let's get into the video uh, no, excuse me brother he is brother excuse me i'll put forward the question on the slip mr Mehtas, why are most of the muslims fundamentalists and terrorists the question posed is by Brother Mehta, why are most of the Muslims fundamentalists and terrorists? The question is posed, I give the answer. If you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, leave it. Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 256, like Rahaf there is no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. I present the truth to you. If you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, you reject it. No problem. There is no compulsion in religion, like Rahaf din Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 256. Brother Mehta has asked a question that why are most of the Muslims fundamentalists, why are they terrorists? What is the meaning of the word fundamentalist? Fundamentalist is a person who follows the fundamentals. For example, a person, to be a good mathematician, he should know, he should follow and practice the fundamentals of maths. He should be a fundamentalist in the field of maths to be a good mathematician. For a person to be a good scientist, he should know, he should follow, and practice the fundamentals of science. He should be a fundamentalist in the field of science to be a good scientist. For a person to be a good doctor, he should know, he should follow, and practice the fundamentals of medicine. He should be a fundamentalist in the field of medicine to be a good doctor. You cannot paint all fundamentalists with the same brush. You can't say all fundamentalists are bad, or all fundamentalists are good. For example, you have a fundamentalist robber who's expert in the field of robbing. But he's harmful for the society. He robs the people and doesn't promote brotherhood. He is not a good human being. On the other hand, you have a fundamentalist doctor who follows and practices the fundamentals of medicine and he cures the sickness of human beings. He is a good person. He helps the human being. So you can't paint all fundamentalists with the same brush. Regarding Muslim, the fundamentalist. I am proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim because I know, I follow, and alhamdulillah strive to practice the fundamentals of Islam. I'm proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim, and every Muslim, to be a good Muslim, should be a fundamentalist Muslim. Otherwise, he can't be a good Muslim. Every Hindu, to be a good Hindu, he should be a fundamentalist Hindu, otherwise he not be a good Hindu. Every Christian, to be a good Christian, he should be a fundamentalist Christian, Otherwise, he won't be a good Christian. Regarding, is a fundamentalist Muslim good or bad? That's the question. Alhamdulillah, the fundamentals of Islam. There is not a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity. So far, many of the brothers pose certain questions because of the misconception. Because of the misconception, you may think that this teaching of Islam is wrong. Like brother said, having cow is wrong, and I gave the answer. Brother said about certain things, and I gave the answer. So a person who has lack of knowledge, he may think that there are certain fundamentals of Islam which are wrong. But if anyone who has the knowledge of Islam, there is not a single teaching of Islam which goes against humanity, goes against society. I challenge anyone, not only in this audience, in the full universe, to point out to me a single, a single teaching of Islam which is against the basics of humanity, single. Some people, may feel bad, but as a whole, 
The teaching of Islam is best for universal brotherhood to promote humanity. There is not a single teaching and I challenge again. Anyone from the audience, they can ask me questions. I will clarify the misconception. Inshallah, when the time comes, there's the next question you can pose. One question at a time. When your turn was there, you don't reply. See, the thing is that you have to follow certain rules. The mic was empty for half an hour. No one came up. I told the brother, you're most welcome. You stand on the mic, no one comes. You can keep on asking one one question. Every third question will be your question. No problem. You can ask as many as, as much as the time the auditorium has been hired for. There's no problem. So, I'm proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. But if you read the definition of fundamentalism, in the Webster Dictionary, it says that fundamentalism was a movement which was started in the early 20th century by a group of Christians, the Protestants in America, who protested and said that not only is the Bible, the teachings of the Bible, the word of God, but every letter of the Bible is verbatim the word of God. So the fundamentalism was first used for a group of Protestant Christians in America who protested and said that every letter word of the Bible is the word of God. If any human being who can prove that every word of the Bible is the word of God, then the movement is good. But if someone can prove that every word of the Bible is not the word of God, then the movement is not a good movement. But if you read the Oxford Dictionary, what is the meaning of the word fundamentalist? Fundamentalism, according to Oxford Dictionary, means strictly adhering to ancient laws of any religion, especially Islam. In Oxford Dictionary, they write especially Islam. The word especially Islam is there in the latest edition of Oxford Dictionary. That means fundamentalist, immediately think of a Muslim. Why? The media is bombarding people that you know that these Muslims, they are fundamentalists, they are terrorists. The moment you think they were a fundamentalist, immediately people start thinking of a Muslim start thinking of the word terrorist. And if you analyze, many a times, two different labels are given to the same person for his same activity. For example, you know, there were many Indians who fought for the freedom of India. When the British had ruled India, there were many Indians who fought for the freedom of India. The Britishers called them as terrorists. Ah, these people are terrorists. But we Indians, we call these freedom fighters as patriots. Right or wrong? Patriots. They fought for the freedom of the country. Same people, same activity, two different labels. The Britishers call them as terrorists. The Indian citizens call them as patriots, freedom fighters. Same activity, same person, two different labels. So before you give a label, you should first analyze that which view do you adhere to. If you agree with the British view that the British government had a right to rule over India, then you would call these people as terrorists. But if you agree with the Indian citizens that the Britishers, they came to do business and they started ruling us unlawfully, then you'll call these people as freedom fighters. So before you give any label to any particular person, you should analyze which view do you have. Same people can be given two different views by different people. In this context, I would say every Muslim should be a fundamentalist where Islam is concerned. Because every teaching of Islam promotes human values and humanity and universal brotherhood. Hope that answers the question. I understand what he's saying because um, anything that's not good for the West is terrorism. Even if a few killings, they're going to tell it as that while their own work is going to be termed as something else which doesn't make sense but then i don't feel like he completely answers the question because i'm sure this guy wasn't referring to all muslims you just can't say everyone is a terrorist that's wrong very wrong uh he's referring to those that are muslim practice islam and uh carry out attacks on people where does he stand on that position. Are they extremists? Are they fundamentalists? What are you going to term those ones? Otherwise, we should learn to live in harmony. People, I don't want to give an excuse of why they do what they do. Only they know why they do that. 
and instead of us also falling into sin by judging them we are no one to judge anyone for any crime committed like i've always said in the past a sin is a sin just because that creating a different um not creating just because they're involved in a different sin that i am that i that i that the one that i'll do doesn't mean that i'm holier than them even i make mistakes even you make mistakes uh, it doesn't have to be a matter of terrorism it has to be anything in this world maybe you beat someone's child maybe they beat you maybe you stole it's all sorts of things otherwise um we should do better as people let's do better by educating ourselves and not just taming an entire group as this an entire group as backwards an entire group as um terrorists an entire group as uh, bad people let's not live with such um things that we've been programmed with let's go out there research gain information then we can talk about it and the world would be a better place if we were not so quick to judge and not base our opinion on someone else's opinion let me know what you guys actually think if you've got um there's any contributions feel free to comment in the section in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to read your comments make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video